living, our intuition, our ability to be able to maintain cognitive abilities so that we don't suffer from issues of dementia, schizophrenia, Alzheimer's, our ability to be able to get a good rest, to be able to retain the ability to be able to have the functions that we have in our body, to be able to have healthy socialization, to be able to get not only the melatonin we need to rest, but also the serotonin needed to be able to combat issues of depression or things that have a tendency to generate negative energy so that we can combat that. To be able to recognize negative energy and not allow negative energy to have an impact or to be able to do anything to us so that we can be able to be what we are expected to be, how we've been created to be. So that not only that or we are that way, but because we're that way, guess what happens? There's a transference. That energy that's coming into you, now you're transferring it to your peer, now you're transferring it to your children, now you're transferring it to those who don't even know you, but they see the aura that's coming from your positive energy. And what happens? Because they feel like they don't have it and they want it, they're drawn to you through the law of attraction so that they can also tap into it and give it to you and give it get it from you as well. But we only have a limited supply, so you cannot always give them some of yours. The only thing that you can do is, if they are interested and they want to know about how to get this positive energy, you can show them how to get it. Give them one source. One source is the sun. Another source is abstaining from food. There's another source as well, but I feel like I need to focus on these because they're so big. And the reason why it's so big is because we're in a time where we are causing ourselves to lose sleep and be exposed to so much light that it is minimizing and reducing the amount of this hormone. And the other thing that's causing the reduction of this hormone is the things that we are consuming that's calcifying it. And it's robbing us of our sleep, sending us to an early grave. You don't get sleep, you get sick. You get sick, you get diseases like heart disease. And that would make me also just think about something else that I found out. It also said that melatonin can also help reduce the risk and treat cardiovascular issues. So if you have a high blood pressure or issues with your heart, well, if you are sun gazing as well as abstaining from food for periods of time, you are not only secreting human growth hormone, your body is also taking that and using it to not only help you sleep with the melatonin, but also help address cardiovascular issues so that your heart can keep pumping the way it do. Because the moment that heart stops pumping, you are done. They're putting you in a box, they're saying some good words over you, and they're lowering you in the ground, and they're burying the dirt over top of you. But when you realize and take advantage of the very things that we should appreciate, like the ability to be able to see, hear, taste, talk, smell, feel, and even so be able to increase the ability of being able to get your third eye to be able to get the intuition of knowing and recognizing things that aren't right and then knowing how to deal with those as well as things that are all right and how to embrace them so that you can feed your positive energy. We're also always looking for a way to find out what are we going to eat today? Well, it's good to know that because you got to get those chemicals from those food for your body to survive, but how about eating some sun? so that you can get some melatonin and serotonin so you can feel good. How about eating some knowledge so that you can feed your brain some knowledge that is useful to you, not the stuff that they're putting on the news or trying to guide you to because you look on social media and you find out some information about, oh wait, chemtrails. Well, what are chemtrails? You start listening to that and you can get depressed instantly. So there is things that can come from the education about your own anatomy and what you can do to sharpen your own, own anatomy. I get, you give my students pencils to do work all the time. There's nothing they can do with that pencil until they stick it into that pencil sharpener and sharpen it. Now they can actually use it to do whatever's necessary. You have a lot of education. There's nothing you can do about it until you sharpen it and narrow it down to the very thing where it matters to you so that you can use it and not only experience life, but you can also do things like stop taking these medications, stop listening to people who aren't doing you any good, getting away from negative energy and embracing positive energy and through the law of attraction, attracting people who has positive energy so that they can feed your positive energy, feed off of one another and being able to discern the negative energy and not only help those who have it,
and also turn that negative energy into positive energy. Not necessarily just for you, but for them, because why are we on this planet? We don't, we don't exist in a bubble. No, we exist where other people involved, and because they are our feelings and what we do for them, them for the both for them is what's going to matter, not just what this we do for ourselves. Because if we only do it for ourselves, I mean, I could go into a whole another thing about that. But wherever it is, it starts with you.